name is Chris Barnard. I'm the editor of SA Yachter Hunter, one of the leading hunting magazines in South Africa. We are at the Otto Skloof Private Hunting Reserve, a 14,000 hectare property that offers some of the best hunting you'll find anywhere in South Africa. Uh, the reserve is about 200 kilometers south southwest of Bloemfontein and it is near the small town of Philippoulis in the Free State. Otterskloof is indeed a beautiful hunting venue. The terrain is quite varied. It comprises open plains, uh, high hills, mountains, deep gorges and a number of non-perennial rivers that uh, run through the reserve. The biggest one is the Knapsack River and uh, although it doesn't flow all year round, there are always uh, big water pools like you can see right here behind me. Otterskloof is home to all the so-called plants games animals from buffalo all the way down to diker and stembuck. So uh, what is on my hunting menu? Definitely a mature waterbuck bull. I'm not really a trophy hunter so any representative bull will do. An animal that gives me a challenging hunt. Uh, I only hunt on foot. Uh, I just love the adrenaline that a good stalk provides. So any good bull. Um, Fortunately, Otterskloof has a very good population of waterbuck. It's just finding the right one in the right place. Come, let me introduce you to the beauty of Otterskloof. Okay, I've decided to use my CZ 550 in 308 Winchester for this hunt. And um, I've loaded it with 150 grain nozzle Acubon bullets. Um, I've tried it now at 200 and 250 meters. Right, on the left hand side, with my 100 meter zero, um, it shoots about half an inch low at 200. And then with my 250 meter setting, the right hand side target, it shoots just about an inch low at 250. So that's the uh, settings I'm going to use for the hunt. And um, let's hope we're successful. We started early on day one and uh, hunted hard the whole day. Um, early on we saw kudu which we stalked, uh, also hartebeers, lesbuck, uh, mountain zebra, of course waterbuck and waterbuck bulls. We saw sable, um, buffalo, but unfortunately none of the waterbuck bulls that um, we saw was quite what I was looking for. I was actually looking for a bull with nice symmetrical horns, um, horns that um, don't come together or pinch at the tips so we kept on looking and um, eventually in the afternoon we spotted uh, four bulls in a valley where the uh, Knapsack River cuts through mountains um, they were not down in the riverbed though they, they were way up in the mountain and um, too far away to shoot and moving away from us so we just sat and uh, watched them until they disappeared and yeah that is um, how day one ended um, we saw plenty of animals, but unfortunately, I didn't fire a single shot.
where we were again, out early on day two. But instead of returning to the valley where we spotted the water buck bulls the day before, I decided to hunt a different section of uh, Ottersloof. Um, the plan was to return to the valley only at about noon, um, because I was hoping that uh, by then the water buck would have moved back to the valley and that they would be actually down in the riverbed where it uh, is easier to stalk them. Um, there's quite a lot of greenery along the river, the river banks. So most of the animals spend large parts of the day grazing uh, in the riverbed. Um, so yeah, that's what we did. Uh, returned at noon and um, this is our story then. We are now in an area where the Knapsack River turns sharply and flows through a deep gorge. Um, we've been hunting a different part of the farm or property this morning, looking for water buck pools, but we didn't find any. So I'm back here now where we've spotted a number of big bulls yesterday in the river gorge. Um, they were too far to shoot at. So uh, hopefully we will get a shot now. We're going to climb this hill behind me and go over it there, um, look down into the riverbed and um, hold thumbs. Maybe we'll spot some water buck there. Goodness, this hill is actually steeper than it looks. Let's just hope there is a water buck on the other side of the hill in the gorge. We've spotted a small herd of water buck down in the river. Um, they're too far to shoot now. So we're just giving them a little bit of a chance. Hopefully they will turn and move towards us. Um, we're on a high hill above the Knapsack River. And just waiting, waiting to see if we can get a chance to shoot. Right, there's a water buck bull that we are after. Um, he's turned now and he's moving slowly, ever so slowly towards us. Right, uh, the water buck is closer now, so I'm going to take a shot now. Right, the water buck bull is down. Uh, the shot was just over 200 meters. Um, there was a bit of a breeze blowing from uh, left to right, but uh, I'm very happy. That's a very nice bull and uh, he's down. Let's go down and look at him. Right, this is the happy ending of the hunt. I've just shot this water buck bull uh, just over 200 meters, around about 205 or so and uh, the uh, 150 grain nozzle acubond went right through. I shot it behind the left shoulder 
and um, it exited right there on the on the right hand side shoulder. Uh, I actually shot shot from a hill above the river as you as we filmed uh, just a while ago. Um, I spotted this bull and three others yesterday. I was climbing up the hill on the and um, they were down in the river here. Uh, then they moved up the hill and um, I returned early this morning but they were nowhere to be found. Um, eventually I spotted them way up on a big mountain almost right at the top but they were about one kilometer away. So uh, I left them alone and uh, we returned at about two o'clock this afternoon. Um, by that time he had moved down into the riverbed again with some females. Um, uh, we set up the camera, I set, set up the rifle and uh, yeah, um, I was fortunate enough to, to bag this nice old bull. You can see the right hand side horn is worked down, it's broken. Uh, nice thick basis, beautiful old bull. I'm really, really, very happy with the outcome of this hunt. I'm going to take a picture of the actual hill that we've shot from. The big rock right in the center of the picture. Otterskloof recovery team, 6x6, six they're six. going to carry the water back out now, and off they go.